had the bodyguards on, and Rue had supermodel. And we did a radio expo event, you know, all those things, where they put us together in the green room. And I saw Rue and Rue saw me, and I was like, I don't know if you remember me. And Rue's like, bitch, I've been watching you little blonde ass for years. <laughs> you are a fucking superstar. I used to watch you pop on the red zone. But wow. she said that. <laughs> And then fast forward to 1996, where I started auditioning for this radio gig. I wanted to be on the radio so bad because I broke a radio geek, and I knew I had to get to the app, and I didn't know how to get on the radio. And I found a way to hustle my way into New York radio, got the audition on the air, market number one, and not, not only market number one, and not only did I audition, I nailed that shit. That they brought me back every week to audition me. I was the only steady from week to week when they auditioned the actual big people. So it was Fashion Week in 1996, February. They brought Rue Paul in. Rue didn't know I was going to be there. I didn't know Rue was going to be there. They said, Meet us in Jersey City, 4 o'clock in the morning. We're going to bring in new colors for the week. And I was like, Okay. Rue walks in, and I was like, And Rue looks at me and goes, Of course it's you. Right. Who else would be sitting here? You're a fucking cat. You have nine lives. The universe has never <laughs> let you down. It's all amazing. <laughs> And then we did that week together. They hired us on the spot. And the first ratings book, this is a really big deal for radio games. We beat Howard Stern in that first ratings book. And it was like, oh my god, we have something really huge going on. And then that started our career. And then she brought me onto the VH1 show as her sidekick. And um, I remember being in the car and welling up with whatever moisture I had left in 1996. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing new. And uh, she said, I said, I can't believe that you're helping me make my, you're making my dream come true. All I wanted to do was be on VH1 and, 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 or MTV. Yeah, it was a shit at the time. Oh my god. Yeah. And then Bruce said, you are amazing, but you make me look better, bitch. So you're always yeah, not good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody can deliver her. She can work with anybody. Look, Rebecca's amazing on skin more. She's got so many things. Nobody can deliver that bitch that mama can. Well, no, I mean, nobody's going to deliver this kind of stuff. Yeah, and it's smart. And also, it's great when you can, you know, you can definitely sit with someone, especially when you're doing something like radio, where you have to endlessly talk, and you can find that rapport, you can connect, and you can click with people. It's people skills, you yes. know? And of course, you have any goldfingers, and you can deal with goldfingers. <laughs> 